Hey, what's up, musers? This is John at Muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And for quick tip number 16, I've decided to go over a full screen video scroll effect in Adobe Muse. Uh, so I have an example website here. And if I scroll up, we can see this video fixed in the background. And as we scroll, the rest of the website scrolls uh, past the video. So that video stays fixed. And we have this nice scroll effect where the video shows as we as we scroll through the website. Uh, so this effect is actually very simple to add. We're gonna be using Adobe Muse along with the responsive full screen video widget found at museforyoushop.com. Uh, so I'll go ahead and get started. I'll open up Adobe Muse. Uh, this is what the website looks like here. Uh, so I'll create a new site. I'll go to File, New Site, and I'll click OK, and I'll double click on the home page. Then I'll go to the library panel here on the right. Let me just zoom in here. And if you don't see the library panel, you can go to window and click on library. So I'll open up the library panel and I'll type in responsive full screen there. And here's the responsive full screen video widget. So I'll click hold and drag and place onto my Adobe Muse website. So here I'll place it in the upper left hand corner uh, off the canvas. And then I'll select an MP4 file. Uh, it's recommended to add at least an MP4 file for the video. Uh, you can add a, web, a .webm and .ogv file for fallback support on browsers that do not support .mp4 files, but most browsers do support .mp4 files. So here I'll click Add File, and I'll double click on the video file. So a .mp4 file is a video file, and so is a .webm and .ogv. And then I'll he here I'll select Poster Image, and I have a poster image for uh, devices that don't play video uh, right away there so the image will show instead and then I do want the video to be fixed in the browser so it doesn't scroll with the rest of the website and just like that I have a full screen video added to my website so I'll preview that and we have that full screen video so now I want to add a few rectangles to the website so we have those panels over the video so let me zoom out here I'll just go to the rectangle tool here to the left and I'll create a rectangle. I'll start at the beginning of the website, so at the very beginning, and I'll just create a rectangle and drag down, just like that. And I'll give it a color of black, just so we can see the, the color here in the beginning. And I'll copy this rectangle, so I'll hit Command-C to copy and then Command-V to paste, and I'll place it lower in the website. And I wanna leave some empty space here, and that's where the video is gonna show up, uh, right here in this white area. So depending on how long the website is, I can make this panel longer or shorter uh, just to cover the website or cover the video in the background. And then this space is where the video will show up. So if I knew exactly how, how tall I wanted this area to be, I could create a rectangle. Let me zoom here into Adobe Muse. I could create a rectangle. So I could say like this. Let's say I want that area to be 400 pixels in height. I'll create a 400 uh, 400 in height rectangle and just bring bring uh, this panel right below it, just like that. And then I can delete this section just if I wanna be exact with that area there. All right, and that's it. That's all you have to do. And then I'll preview in the browser. I'll scroll and there we have the video. Looks good. We have the video here in the footer section. If we didn't want a footer, um, we could just go to the master page and I'll bring up these tabs, or you could add a footer and that would cover that bottom section as well. So you could have different different sections where the video shows just by leaving spaces in between the different rectangles that you create over the website, just like that. And it is fully responsive, so if I resize the browser, that video will keep playing, just like that looks good. I can make these panels white. That could be an interesting effect. So it almost looks like that video is just kind of showing up there just like that, which looks nice. Uh, so that's it for the uh, responsive full screen scroll effect. You just add the video background and uh, the rectangles over the video in Adobe Muse, and you have this really nice full screen video scroll effect. Uh, the full responsive full screen video can be found at museforyoushop.com. And here you can click on the pop-up 
And here you can click subscribe to get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for $39 a year. Or if you'd like to subscribe with PayPal, you can click here and subscribe with PayPal. The responsive full screen video widget is right here, full screen video. And here you can click add to cart to purchase individually. Or again, you can get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for $39 a year. Here are a few features included, the widget options, uh, the preview pages, and the video tutorials on how to use the widget. Uh, so that's it for this quick tip. Um, I think it's a nice effect. It could really, if you have a nice video for your website, it could be an interesting effect as the user scrolls through the website. Uh, so that's it for this video tutorial. Again, I do this to help you build awesome websites without code. If you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you.